Greetings, saints, and grace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm Pastor Billy D. Welcome to today's Moments in Ministry. Did you know that you don't technically see with your eyes or hear with your ears? Your eyes and ears simply transmit light and vibrating molecules of the air into your nerves, which then send the impulses to your brain, where sight and sound are interpreted. All this might help to explain some of the strangest documented phenomena in medical history. The cases of those, though blind or blindfolded, were nevertheless able to see. For example, in the 1890s, doctors in New York described how blind Molly Fancher could read regular printed books using only her fingertips. In Italy, a neurologist wrote about a blind girl who could see with her left earlobe and the tip of her nose. Doctors have documented cases of those who could see with their fingertips, cheeks, or even their abdomens. In 1960, 14-year-old Margaret Foos of Ellerson, Virginia, underwent elaborate tests conducted by experts. Securely blindfolded, Margaret read randomly selected passages of print, identified colors and objects, and even played a game of checkers. In Russia, medical researchers reported that a case of Rosa Kolusheva, who in rigidly controlled experiments, was able to read newsprint and sheet music with her fingertips and elbow. How is this possible? No one knows for certain. Some have posted that these individuals were abnormally sensitive to the amount of heat absorbed by different colors. Sightless reading could be possible because black print absorbs more heat and is warmer than the surrounding white page. The Bible speaks about those who, though able to see perfectly, are blind to spiritual truth because they prefer to live in darkness. For example, John tells of some who believed in Jesus but did not follow him because they preferred the good opinion of men over the good opinion of God. The good news is that no one needs to live in darkness. Jesus longs to heal our spiritual blindness if we will only allow him. Here's a slice of today's bread of heaven from John 12 and 40. But though he had done so many miracles before them, yet they believed not on him, that the saying of Isaiah the prophet might be fulfilled, which he spake, Lord, who hath believed our report, and to whom hath the arm of the Lord been revealed? Let us pray. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. So until we come this way again, may God bless you and keep you, is my prayer.